Sadie Sprocket Builds a Rocket. Written by Sue Fleece and illustrated by Annabelle Tempest. Sadie Sprocket had a wish to travel far from here, to venture through the galaxy beyond our atmosphere. She checked out every book on space, learned all there was to know. No one's been to Mars, she said. I'll be the first to go. So one day Sadie drew a map to navigate the stars. It's time to leave the Earth, she said, and travel straight to Mars. Because the journey would be long, she thought she'd bring a crew. She interviewed and tested each, and then she chose a few. First, we need to build a ship that's sturdy, safe, and fast. To make it there without a hitch, it must be built to last. They rummaged through the junkyard and gathered every part. They counted, weighed, and measured twice. She couldn't wait to start. Sadie and her crew worked hard to build her rocket ship. She scanned her map and chose a date to make the stellar trip. We launched today, young Sadie said. I've tested every switch. She knew that even one small blip could cause a major glitch. Friends and family wished her well. Reporters flocked to see. The space-bound girl with smarts and skill would soon make history. Ten, nine, eight, she counted down. The engine shook the lawn. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, the ship was gone. The journey took 100 days. She knew it would be tough, but Sadie kept their spirits up. We'll be there soon enough. The crew tried playing cards and games without too much success. The pieces floated all around and made an awful mess. Instead, they read to pass the time and took turns making food while Sadie wrote down everything and tracked their altitude. The earth behind, so far away, was now a tiny dot. Then Sadie cried, there's planet Mars. It's smaller than I thought. As their ship was closing in, the captain told her crew, we'll set up camp and gather samples. We've got work to do. Sadie scanned her map of Mars and found a place to land. We'll put the ship down over there, upon the level sand. Get your samples, Sadie said. They filled up 20 bags. They tied them tight and labeled them, and then they planted flags. After one last photograph, they packed up their supplies. Then Sadie stopped to look around and noticed flashing skies. A storm is coming! Time to go! They strapped in for the flight. But then the rocket wouldn't budge. They couldn't leave the site. The landing gear is buried deep. We have to dig it free. They jumped back in, but sand was swirling. Now they couldn't see. When the storm had settled down, they got their chance to fly. But then the rocket wouldn't start. There's one thing left to try. She quickly grabbed her rocket tools and checked the circuit board. They cleared the sand and fixed the wires. Power was restored. Once the ship had warmed enough, she shouted, time to blast. They zoomed by stars and asteroids and made it home at last. Sadie made the nightly news. The world now knew her name. The first to land on planet Mars had rocketed to fame. She'd triumphed in her mission, but Sadie wasn't done. This pioneer of space had plans. She'd only just begun. One more question, please, they said. What's next for you, Miss Sprocket? Maybe Neptune, but for that, I'll need a bigger rocket. The end.